Kevin Love took frustration on the court to a new level after he just slapped the ball in bounds, leading to a Toronto three and a Raptors win over the Cavs. I'm Robin Lundberg here with Ben Pickman and Wilton Jackson. And uh, guys, you know, I I've seen people sulk. I I've seen people take a playoff. I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite like that, Ben. W what should the Cavs do about it? And, and I look, I understand, you know, even NBA players can have a tough day at work and, and, and all that stuff. But, you know, I'm, I'm forgiving in that regard. But Kevin Love signed up for this situation in Cleveland, and he hasn't really been on the court much. My instinct would say to bench him. But given um, he, he seems to be so upset out there when he's playing, maybe they should just play him more, Ben. Maybe, you know, 48 minutes a night, the, the next several games for, for the uh, Kevin Love with the Cavs is, is the acceptable disciplinary action here. I mean, I don't really know what options they have. Maybe it's benching him, but there's just around 10 games left in the season. And Kevin Love is signed for multiple years beyond this one. And so maybe they look to, you know, trade him this offseason, which is probably an amicable, an amicable deal that both parties would like. If you look at Kevin Love, you know, he apologized to his teammates last night, according to J.B. Bickerstaff. He said after the game, you know, what he did was unacceptable. There's no denying that. But Love is also going through a, you know, a really mentally taxing season. He said this is maybe the most mentally taxing season he's gone through. He said that a couple weeks ago. He's had a major calf strain that's kept him, you know, out pretty much all year. He's played in just 18 games. He's averaging a career low in rebounds, his second lowest points average per game of his career since his rookie season, right? He just hasn't been on the court that much since LeBron James left. He's played in fewer than 100 games since LeBron left three years ago. So Kevin Love signed up for this. You're absolutely right, Robin. And it certainly is a mentally taxing situation and the frustration you could really see. It came out on Monday night against the Raptors by doing what he did. You know, there aren't really a ton of solutions here, I would say, other than trade him this offseason. This season seems like is a lost season for Love. It's certainly a lost season for the Cavs. They just have around 21 wins right now. They're waiting for the finish line. They're waiting for the NBA draft. Hopefully these two can work it out, maybe in the offseason, find a new partner for both. But there's not a lot to be done right now, quite frankly. And there's not a lot of value for Kevin Love. Come on, let, I mean, let's be frank about it. Um, it he just hasn't been that kind of player uh, for, for a minute now. In the grand scheme of things, this is not a big deal, uh, of course, right? And, and I, I am respectful to, to like you said, it, 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 these guys are human beings. You know, we all go through things that are tough. Money doesn't solve all problems. At the same time, there are consequences to actions. And Wilton, I just don't know if this, something so blatant you can just let go completely. You shouldn't let something like this go. But to Ben's point, I'm not necessarily sure if there's something that the Cavs can actually do. I mean, other than, as he mentioned, get rid of him or trade him um, during the offseason. Like, this is something like you, you're letting your opponent go for an easy layup. Then you slap the ball into play and let your opponent knock down a three-point shot. I mean, that's terrible. Like, I mean, in just basketball in general, general, that's terrible. Defense always comes first. And so when you think about that, I understand, you know, he's going through a rough season and the Cavs aren't where they want to be but at the end of the day Kevin Love still gets paid to play a game that he loves despite the you know crazy circumstances and situations and granted you know we've seen him do things like this before last season when he stumped at you know Colin Sexton and then you know throwing the ball at C. Osmond's feet in such an angry manner but when you have other younger players looking up to you like your Jerry Allen's your Darius Garland's you know your Isaac Cruz like they have respect for Kevin Love and as a leader you should want to do better for the for the teammates that you have in the locker room and so moving forward I don't really know what the Cavs are going to really do but the obvious thing that I would see is to, to trade him during the offseason. Well, yeah, look, I think it's the best thing for the Cavaliers organization to move on from Kevin Love, though the, the best punishment for, for Love may be to, to make him honor his contract and, and all of it and stay in Cleveland. 